My name is Praneet Seigel. I'm a senior in computer engineering with a minor in business. Uh, I've been interested in game development for a really long time. Uh, I've been playing games as long as I can remember. One of the things that interests me about game development is the uh, fact that it's a new way to tell stories. Hi, my name is Ace. Uh, this right here is McMania. This was, um, I want to say, the second major game I've worked on and the first major game where I was a major part of the development team. Uh, um, so I started playing video games, I want to say, I, I don't even really remember how old I was, but I was probably in first or second grade, and that was when I had my very first experience with video games. Um, and they were fun, they were challenging, uh, they allowed me to sort of experiment without consequence. Uh, you know, you could drop a bomb on a building and nobody would care. I so. started playing World of Warcraft about six years ago. And the reason I played it was because I loved the idea of human interaction and social interaction in video games. That to me was such a unique concept, how you could take people who have never met each other, throw them together in the same universe, and force them to interact with each other to achieve a common goal. Um, the biggest thing that I liked about World of Warcraft was that it was pretty much completely anonymous. You know, like you had no, you couldn't see the other person that you were talking to at all. So for all you know, like they could have been like somebody's grandma that was playing and you would have no idea. Um, so I thought that was kind of like a really cool dimension to it. And aside from that, just the biggest thing about World of Warcraft is the vast amount of content it has. There is so much content that it would probably take someone like 30,000 hours to be able to complete everything. So um, I definitely have to say I really enjoyed the sort of the art style and how they did everything for Team Fortress 2. So Team Fortress 2 is a first person sort of cartoon shooter. Uh, there are several different objectives to the game, but uh, it, at its core it is a class based first person shooter sort of like Battlefield. But what I think makes it unique from you know the Battlefields and the Call of Duties is that it places much more emphasis on sort of this uh, aspect of fun and this aspect of cartoonism. So it's a lot more whimsical than your average first person shooter which focuses on being gritty and realistic and for that reason it's a lot easier to sort of pick up, put down. In general there's just a feeling of, uh, in Battlefield and Call of Duty of there is more consequence to your actions that you can't just goof off because if you do your team will suffer and that also if your team is goofing off you are punished whereas in Team Fortress 2 even if your team really doesn't care it's still possible to have fun you may not win but you'll still have fun. I think the best way for me to explain this is to go back to what I learned in games theory class. Um, I actually read this from a book from MIT called Rules of Play they wanted to try and describe why people have fun. And they, in order to describe why it was, they needed to actually create terminology in order to define things. And probably my favorite word they ever made was what they called the magic circle, which is the idea that when you go play a game, you're no longer within the rule set of the world. You're actually in the rule set of the game. For example, I actually remember seeing a video, I think they showed it during my game theory class, about a guy who was actually severely addicted to breakout, where he was actually absorbed into playing like the paddle. So it can get pretty deep. Games and making games is a new way of telling stories, it's a new medium for people to use. And uh, I'm really drawn to that medium because it combines a lot of different things like both player, like having the player play things and also having music and art and story and everything gets put together into one package, which is really cool. And one of the things that makes games really unique as a medium is that uh, the player actually helps drive the story. So very good games uh, make, let the player drive the story and feel like they have some sort of agency in uh, pushing the story forward. So that's actually one of the reasons why Minecraft was so popular, because it had this seemingly endless uh, universe where you could go around and explore, and um, so it gave you complete control over how you wanted to manipulate the world and build it, so you could kind of like just kind of make the world your own, make it unique and just kind of do whatever you wanted to do. Um, games are definitely much better at showing things like character development and also ideas of like 
eliciting empathy from the player because you're able to put the player in somebody else's shoes and be able to and people are able to watch the player watch a character grow and develop as they play the game in multiple dimensions. Um, so one of the games that definitely did this very well was uh, uh, Portal. So Valve is actually very much a master of this idea of having the player like ha guide the player to through the story but still give the player enough freedom to play. Uh, Solar Command is a game I'm working on that's a combination of a collectible card game and turn-based strategy games strategy game. Uh, in it, players are playing the role of a rising, uh, rising colony in humanity's fledgling interstellar empires. Um, the main themes of the story is I was trying to make some kind of a realistic science fiction uh, story, not so much like Star Wars where it's this good versus evil thing, but a bit more like how there are these different kinds of people and all of these, even like as humanity has expanded, you can kind of see that these cultures have changed a great deal and now you have different extremes of human culture. So the cool thing about Portal and other story-based games, and kind of games in general, is that um, they put you in the shoes of another person. And that's something that no other medium tends to do very well, because when you are playing a game as another character, you are doing those actions. It is you, but you're somebody else. And that's what makes games such a different experience and a different medium from any other medium than human history.